going on everybody i'm back again with another video and i'm back again in longwood which i made a video here in my previous video if you guys want to check it up some way around up here but i'm going to spoil another neighborhood that i really wanted to go which is right behind me and it's called hunts point and it's mostly in the southern peninsula of the south bronx and it's mostly like a food industrial area but i think there's a little bit of residential area too it doesn't get really like a good reputation but I'm gonna go check it out. You know, the best way to support the neighbor is being on the ground, see what's going on over there. So without further ado, join me. So now I'm just gonna make my way by the Cis Train area and head towards Hunts Point Avenue. And that's like the main avenue that will take you right into the neighborhood and to see what's going on. I think there's like a lot of uh, apartment complex. And then if you go a little bit more southern of the neighborhood, it's mostly like warehouses and industrial areas. So we're gonna go check it out to see what's going on. So we just gotta go to Southern Boulevard, make a left. Then it'll take us close to 163rd Street and then that's the beginning of Hunts Point Avenue. This is a nice residential street with nice apartment complex, but then you see the highway ahead of me, 278, and then the, if I cross that underneath, it'll take me to the neighborhood that I, I want to go. So this is the subway station, the Sis Train, Hunt, Hunts Point Avenue. There are two options, one is local, the other one is expressway. And this is like the most developed avenue, and then once I go Underneath this bridge, I'm gonna check out what's going on over here. So, really excited to see what's happening. Like I said, I'm always curious to explore these local neighborhoods. That doesn't really get much of a footage, but you know, that's the beauty about exploring. So, this is the highway here. So, it seems like it's 95. This one goes all the way south. Then, over here, goes all the way north. But we're gonna cross underneath and enter this neighborhood that's kind of like a little bit isolated in the peninsula. I already see police activity over there ahead of me. So a lot of traffic going on over here. And it seems like we're passing over a rail line over here. Then it seems like this building over here to my left is abandoned. But we are officially entering uh, Hunts Point. Now I already see like some business ahead of me. I see a mule that says hip hop. So probably gonna go check it out. You know, I'm a fan of urban art. But yeah, we made it here. Let's see what's going on. So this is a street art that I want to show you. Hip hop. I guess this was dedicated to the hip hop 50th anniversary right here. Wow, this is pretty dope. The birthplace of hip hop, which is this ball over here in the Bronx. I think this might be like a little bit of the sketchy area in Hunts Point, but we're just beginning. But I think it gets even more interesting the farther I walk. So yeah, let's check it out. So this is Hunts Point Avenue. And so far, it looks pretty cool and a lot of activity going on. You see the people walking into my widest apartment complex and I see they're renovating some of the old buildings. Like one thing I heard is like this peninsula, I think like half of it or less is residential. Then the other one is mostly like industrial. So that might explain the reason why there's like a lot of robberies. I guess they go to the industrial areas and they steal stuff. Then we got this here that's called scaffolding in New York City. It's just really common no matter what borough, of Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx. But so far, I'm liking it over here. It looks pretty cool, this main avenue. And then over here, there's all apartment complex that they're renovating. And one thing I like is like the sidewalk. It got like this cobblestone right here. So it beautifies the street. It's like a different vibe over here, you know. And then if you detour into some of the, low, the regular streets, it's just mostly apartment complex. Actually, I want to do a little detour over here because you guys know I'm a huge fan of architecture and I see some apartment complex over here that looks uh, pretty beautiful. Also, I see like some shoes connecting up and the cable. So that's, you know, <laughs> I grew up in Puerto Rico. Usually when you see that, it's mostly good. That's like a sign telling you there's like a drought spot, but Look at architecture over here, it looks pretty beautiful. Wow, these apartments are nice, I like it. Reminds me a little bit of the architecture in Longwood, which is right across the bridge. So I'm gonna make a detour in one of these regular streets, make it right, and there's actually a street here that's called Lafayette. Lafayette Avenue, they got one in Brooklyn too, and also in North New Jersey. But I'll make it right here to see what's going on. But like I said, pretty much is residential. Got the apartment complex over here. And I hear like a lot of construction work. And like I said in my previous videos and the other videos that I cover in the Bronx, most of the difference between this borough and Brooklyn or Manhattan is like every street that you walk, 
it's like different from another one, so there's always something uh, pretty interesting to look at. I gotta tell you, so far this area is pretty beautiful, look. It's like houses, they got a church in the corner. There's actually a tree with the flowers, you know, because of the cherry blossoms. Because we're in the spring season, even though it's still a little bit cold. But yeah, I think this is a church or a house, but it looks beautiful. Pretty interesting the architecture here. Then ahead of me, I see a beautiful apartment with balcony. It's actually Lafayette Avenue over here. Wow, there are some nice architecture over here. So I'm gonna show you what the street looks like. Let me just walk forward and I'll detour over here. So a lot of cool things to explore. So this is Lafayette and like any other neighborhood you get in New York City, it looks uh, pretty cool. So that's the apartment with the balcony in the back. Then I see some of those apartments with Puerto Rican flags. So yeah, it makes it pretty nice. But let me just go ahead and then I'm gonna turn back. The cool thing about this neighborhood, it has a comfortable bike lane that you see here. So you can even bike the neighborhood over here. But I wanna walk into the corner to see what's going on. And then I'm just gonna uh, turn back. But so far I gotta say it's a pretty interesting neighborhood. And unless things has changed, but I don't see really much of a danger. But I mean, it's like any other type of neighborhood you're gonna get in New York City. But I've been to so many neighborhoods, so it's like nothing, you know. Of course, you gotta use your common sense and be smart how you walk around. But so far, it's mostly, you know, working class people going on about their daily life. So matter of fact, I'm gonna walk towards the end of Lafayette, because I think there's like a little local park that borders with another neighborhood called Soundview. So let's go check it out. This neighborhood is giving me a little tiny feel uh, for George because of the hills and all the cardio you got to do. Like literally I'm going down the hill and what I like about it is how they got the midst of cobblestones with the sidewalk. So I think if I walk forward that way, there should be like a local park. I see some high rise buildings at the end. So I'm not sure if that's uh, Soundview, which is another neighborhood. I also see at the end like the bridge of Duox Neck, which I made a video over there. You know, a little bit isolated area right here in the Bronx. And so far you can see what I'm talking about, mostly like industrial complex. Like I said, it's mostly like food distrib distribution center. But yeah, I wanna see what's all the way at the end. And so far this morning it was cold, but now the weather's getting uh, pretty nice and comfortable. So yeah, and it's supposed to get warm in the next few days. Yesterday was brutal, it was cold, rainy, and pretty windy, so felt like a storm <laughs> but that's the New York weather you know everything cha everything changes so I want to show you like an example like over here we got one production I think it's called Tard U Corp and then across the street this place is called Global Enterprise Tropical and Vegetable so it's like a food distribution center and then if you walk around here they got some beautiful street art but then this place is called Caribbean Produce Produce Products so it's mostly like West Indian and African products over here that they sell, but look, I like how they keep like this little basic uh, murals and street art. How to keep this basic murals and street art over here. And then I think the little tiny local park should be over there ahead of me. I don't think it's going to be crazy, but I'm curious to check it out. I'm entering this little local park that is kind of isolated and in the middle of nowhere. But we got like all the warehouse going on over here. It says no, no parking. It's kind of abandoned, but it looks pretty interesting. <laughs> Hunts Point, Riverside Park. I don't think, well, I see like one or two people over there. But let's see what's going on over here. Hmm, doesn't seem, seem like this park had better days or it's a little bit run down. They could really renovate it a little bit. I think this would be like a canal ahead of me. So let me just walk to the end and see what can I find. So you can see there's literally nothing. I hear the airplane right there. Because I think right across of this neighborhood is LaGuardia Airport. And then you see like those apartment complexes that's actually uh, sound view in the Bronx. But yeah, I'm literally the only one over here. And there's another guy over there that I think he must work around the area. And he's just, but let me see if I can get a close up of this little marina right here. But yeah, it seems like it's semi abandoned the area, but there's actually like a little boat over here. And I got to hear the police or ambulance, whatever, patrolling. Let me see what's going on over here. What's the bots doing over here? So I want to show you, I don't know how clear you can see. So I want to show you, I don't know how clear you can see, but this is actually Hunts Point right here. 
and I'm literally standing right here. So it's literally a peninsula in South Bronx. And then it's all like other neighborhoods, you know, Longhorn, Longwood, Soundview, you know, so yeah. And then you got this over here. And it's like a canal, it's like you end up in the middle of nowhere. Still pretty cool to look and admire. So I guess it's a little peaceful area over here, the view and everything. That part looks like it's really cool, but I mean, I feel like they could really use some good renovation in this park and it could have a lot of potential, you know, something different. But it seems like they use this park for something else, for tractors and stuff, because the way how you see, let me show you. It seems like they pass over here and they literally destroy the soil that's going on over here, so I just gotta watch my step. But let's keep making it throughout the neighborhood and exploring, exploring what Hunts Point has to offer. So it seems like they used to have like a rail that would pass over here. You see the abandoned tracks, or maybe not, not like a passenger rail, but probably like you know distribution rail where they bring products and stuff. So it's really cool to look at. I'm gonna go all the way back in the hill by Lafayette Avenue and make it to Hunts Point Avenue, and keep making my way deeper into the neighborhood to see what else can I find. So far, I'm loving the neighborhood, you know. Like I tell you, the Bronx keeps impressing me every day and there's so many hidden gems in this borough that a lot of people need to discover. I'm gonna make another detour over here to show you this little nice residential street. Nothing special, but it got a couple of nice looking architecture here that I wanna show you guys. So to my right, you got this apartment complex. They're pretty much like any other standard building. But then over here, you got this one. Beautiful architecture. Like I'm saying, like every street that you walk in the Bronx is different from another one comparing to balls like Brooklyn. Like if you would go to Park Slope, they pretty much look the same. Where the brownstone buildings are pretty beautiful, but over here it's like you walk a block and you don't know what to expect because they're pretty different from each other. But let's make it back to Hunts Point Avenue and keep making it down and see what else can we find. And I love how quiet the street is and how residential it is. Like I say, pretty sure in the summer, maybe the vibe is a little bit different, you know? And this intersection here is really beautiful, you know, with the wide streets. The only difference is there's a lot of litter over here compared to other neighborhoods I've been exploring. But then you got this apartment, it's all pretty beautiful with the triangle on top. And this here looks pretty nice, this building, which I like. Beautiful architecture. Then I think this is Hunts Point Avenue right here. I get really distracted because, you know, there's so much to see. But sometimes you don't know where to go. Good thing this neighbor is not really that big. We got this area over here that literally looks like the Flat Iron District, <laughs> but the Bronx version. This over here is Coaster Street, which I'm gonna explore in the other side once I make it back. And then this is still the Hunters Point Avenue. I mean, Hunts Point. But this is pretty cool over here. Nice, right? And like I say, like pretty much what you would get in any other neighborhood in New York City. You got the main street, then you got like barber shops, uh, daily stores across, you know, an apartment complex and bodega. So it's like no matter what neighborhood you go in New York City, you got everything within walking distance, you know, and that's what makes it pretty convenient. And I feel like a lot of cities in the States should really take notes from this area. Then it just keeps going. It kind of gives it like a semi small town feel, even though you're in the city, you know, with a mixture of urban. So they got this street over here that's pretty beautiful. And what I like about this avenue is that it has a mixture of the cobblestones right here to my left and then the regular sidewalks right here. We got like another mini flat iron building and in the corner right in the first floor is mostly a liquor store, a bodega. <laughs> but I think after this block it turns mostly industrial. So it seems like after this block there's a local park over here and then it's going to turn, instead of residential, it's going to turn mostly like industrial. I can see the difference right here. You notice all oh, the apartment complex and it literally goes up the hill. Then the local park then is mostly like, you know, I guess warehouse, production, so not, really not much going on. But I'm probably going to detour in some of the avenues. And there's a local park, I think, all the way at the end with a view of the water. So I'm going to go check that out. So this is the park over here, you know, a little small playground that you can find in any other neighborhood in New York City. Then they literally got like a basketball court. And they also got the restrooms over here. This part over here is not much going on. There are some Mr of houses and apartment compass, but then like you see, it's mostly like 
empty lots, like I'll show you right here, see? Like apartment, and they even had to put a sign, active driveway, because I guess people live here. <laughs> but and this is what you see right here. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the ironbound section in North New Jersey, especially the South Ironbound. Like ironbound is, ironbound is mostly like residential, but if you go to the Southern part, it looks like this, like all the warehouses and stuff. But this is the Bronx version, so I guess, I'm gonna assume this is like an apartment right here in the middle of all of this, so. <laughs> Then I notice a lot of those places over here, they have cameras. Then you got this one here, it's an apartment. And then in the tree, they put a Puerto Rican flag. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but here it is. And that's where I'm from. I grew up there for 19 years. Then you see more apartment going on over here. But I think if I show you all of this over here, it's pretty much the same scenery. So I'm just going to look at the map and make it to another part where there might be something more interesting to look at. This is Randall Avenue over here. So I think I'm just going to make it back to Hunts Point Avenue. And there should be like another local park at the end. And this is an area, I guess, where they got auto parts. Got to tell you, it's a lot of litter, a lot of trash over here in the sidewalks. So I guess this is a district where they got for car parts or repairs or auto collision. So not much to see around this area. There's more, it's mostly like a tire shop. And when I walk in some of the streets around here, mostly what it says, I see like signs and memorials of people who died over here. I'm not sure they got, you know, killed or anything, but they set up the memorial and they put like a little mural to the person. And I'm passing by another park here it's literally like in the middle of nowhere. But they got this over here and they got like a little mini cemetery in the middle. And there are a couple of ducks chilling over there. So <laughs> let me just go take a peek at the cemetery to see what's the deal. So you see, you got the little cemetery over here. This is called Joseph Rotman Drake Park Cemetery and Enslaved African Burial Ground. 2.49 acres. So it's pretty interesting to look at. Right there, the little memorial, so that's cool. Now there's another park that should be at the end, it's called Barreto Park, and it's by the water, so I wanna go walk all the way over there. And around here, I don't think there's really much to see, just the warehouses and auto collision centers. But when I make it over there, I'll see what's going on, and I'll probably turn the camera on to show you what I'm witnessing. There's really not much going on. Cause this is like an auto junk section where they jump the cars and it says auto parts. So yeah, and then ahead of me, you know, it's literally like nothing. So you only see like the workers here and I think I'm the only guy who's walking and exploring around here. <laughs> but I don't care, you know, I just want to check out that park at the end to see what's going on. I think the park should be ahead of me. And it's crazy how this park is here in the middle of nowhere between all of these warehouses, but I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I can see it ahead of me. I think there's a lot of cherry buses that are going to come out here and Another bad news, it seems like the park is closed, damn. Oh no, maybe there's another way for me to enter and I see a view of Manhattan right here at the end, so let me figure out how can I enter this park. This is it right here, hmm. But it seems like it's all gated, but I mean, I think I saw somebody inside. There's one person in there, unless he's an employee or something like that, but let me see, hopefully there's a way I could get inside the park, hopefully it's open. So it seems like it's closed to the public until further notice right here. You can see it has a gate. Damn, that sucks. Because it would be like a hidden gem. I see a nice view of Manhattan skyline at the end. I see a nice view of Manhattan skyline at the end. They even have like some restrooms over here. Let me see, let me keep walking, let me not give up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so it seems like I can enter, I can enter right here. Okay, wow. Woohoo! Sometimes you just gotta walk all the way till the end and explore to see what's going on. But I think this is gonna be pretty epic right here. The cool thing, they got a restroom right here and it's open. So that's good, happy right now. And then you got the local beautiful park over here, so. We're gonna check out to see what's going on at the end. Really happy that I found a restroom open. Because if you guys know anything, you know in New York City it's really hard to find a restroom, and especially one that's open. 
But there's like a marina right here that I want to show you guys. I don't know if I could get access. Well, oh, yeah, I could get I could get access here and walk to the end. But even ahead of me over here, the park is really beautiful and well and well maintained. But then I think this is gonna be like a hidden gem right here. I don't know how close you can see over there. You can see the buildings of Manhattan billionaires well right there. I, I can even see uh, Queens from right here, but let's go check this out. This is like a hidden gem. So as you can see a really cool pier here in Marina and there was a guy behind me that he's literally fishing. <laughs> so just me and him and I've seen another person right by the park. So I'm just going to walk around the park a little bit to see what's going on and then I'm going to make it back into the neighborhood by Closter Street. Because I think I see some nice architecture. Then we're just going to wrap up this video exploring Hunts Point. So I really love this park. And they even got tables here. You can do picnics, have your food and everything. And then, of course, you get this view of New York City. Manhattan. I can, I can, literally, even, I can literally even see the World Trade Center all the way at the end. And then I think here is kind of like a little theater setup style that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. They even got like this over here. It might be a little history. General Slocum disaster. Mm. And you can see they got also the traditional stones over here. So this is really cool. You got a little stage or something you can perform. They got the stairs right here. I guess people can sit over there. It kind of looks like an indigenous style, you know, with the stones and the grass. Then they got over here, east, south, west, north. And you get this beauty right here ahead, which is awesome. I'm really impressed with the park. It's beautiful. I'm so glad that I walked all the way here to the end to explore this park and have the water right here. <laughs> I'm just going to turn back and head out back in the neighborhood to go to Closter Street to see what's going on. You can just see the beauty over here, peaceful meditation, good vibes, you know. But I'm going to see what's going on ahead of the neighborhood and wrap it up so far. I think I enjoy my time here in Hunts Point. It's a really cool, nice neighborhood, you know. Despite the media making it look like it's pretty bad, but there are some hidden gems right here. I'm going to assume that in the summertime there's more people over here, so that might explain why some of the gates are open but maybe in the summertime you know when the weather's nice maybe the party open up all the gates and then that's when you can see all the activity going on over here well let's make it back to the regular streets and keep exploring hunts point so now i'm in randall avenue now i think over here is where it gets more entertaining the streets are going to do like one or two more blocks you can still see that it's warehouses over here there's actually like a food truck right here and then see a couple of corner stores ahead of me. Probably like a taco truck. Got Manita Avenue and you can see they got apartment complex going on. But I'm going to do one more block down and explore what's happening. So I made it a coaster street and over here you can see how beautiful it gets. That it got this uh, beautiful cherry blossoms with a white color. And then there had to be some houses and activity going on. You can see apartment complex. Nothing crazy, but they look pretty interesting. And different, but a pretty peaceful neighborhood over here, you know. Then most of these apartments are like really close together. And then ahead of me, I don't know if we could get a, a close up. Let me show you. You can see the shoes hanging up. <laughs> so I'm not sure there's like some hot spot somewhere but i know when i grew up in puerto rico that was that was the meaning when you see those shoes going on and what i noticed that this poor this neighborhood is highly a puerto rican community also dominicans over here but everywhere everywhere i go i see a lot of puerto rican flags happening over here you see the street keeps going and over here's different the street is wider and cleaner it kind of gets me to vibe with the last neighborhood i cover in the bronx longwood and you can see the architecture here it's pretty nice Especially this one over here in the corner. Then here you can see how the street collides with Hunts Point Avenue, which just shortcuts all of these avenues right here, all these little streets. Then if you keep going straight, it'll take you right back to where the bridge is. And then on the other side is the subway line 
sits train. And so far, like I say, it's a pretty interesting neighborhood. So a cool thing I'm noticing about this little tiny section over here is that ahead of me, this is Lafayette and Manita Street, I believe. And the signs are in the brown color. So you see when you see the signs in brown color, it's because it's an historic district. And ahead, I see the beautiful architecture. Kind of looks a little bit like Longwood. So I'm going to walk around this little tiny street to see what's going on. And I think this is going to conclude my exploration of Hunts Point. Over here, not sure if you can see it clear. It's brown color, then it says Manita Historic District, so it's right here. So this little tiny street takes us right to the end or the beginning of Hunts Point. So we're gonna check out the architecture that's going on over here. And here, pretty beautiful architecture with the windows and everything, you know. Like I said, it's a pretty small district, but I like it so far, it's pretty nice. And then you can see it's pretty beautiful. It's mostly like apartment complex, you know. Historic buildings are pretty beautiful. And then some of them, it looks like it's two in one. So. That was the end of my video exploring this beautiful neighborhood, Hunts Point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all. And peace.